Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is the man child. So today I'm gonna um you know, I'm doing a series of videos now where I'm gonna start uh going some old school NECA in particularly different figures, thing figures that's been men on car for many years. And I'm gonna rip them out of the box and go over them, right? A little blast from the past, a little fun. So here I have so they made a few versions of this in variants. This was from the um, Alien vs. Predator movie, a Rec Room, from 2007. A lot of people didn't like the film. I liked it. I thought it was, you know, it had its flaws, but I had fun with it. It's pretty violent. It, it left off from the last Alien vs. Predator movie that people didn't like. And I liked that too, but that's just me. Nothing beats the original, obviously. But, yeah, this was the infamous Wolf Predator in the movie. And so... Like I said, there's a few different variants. This one's a mask. I do have the unmasked one, and there's a, a stealth a cloaked one, and I will compare them with the uh, the unmasked version anyway. I already have out of package. So let's check this guy out. Yeah, this was um, some of the different uh, figures they released from the movie: the hybrid, the their xenomorph, and then obviously the predator. So that's the packaging. Pretty cool. I like all the uh, now again. I didn't say NECA. Yeah, this was NECA, and at the time they called themselves Real Toys. I think I even got this like at Spencer's or something in a day. And what's funny is this is one of the first lines of Predators and Figures I started collecting when I started getting into NECA products and toy and figures because I always did McFarlane and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's uh, I'm gonna get this guy to package and let's check him out. All right, so we're going to cut out of the package. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty neat. Um, detail is, you know, great detail. Now... It's amazing how NECA with the Predator and all that stuff. I mean, how far they come. Um, but detail is no really, you know, not, they give you more accessories today and stuff. And the articulation is a big one where this guy, he has articulation, but he's limited. But the detail is un unreal. I mean, it's great. Looks just like the movie. Now, what's funny with this guy, too. So I have him on a figure stand so he don't fall. So that didn't come with it. Okay, so let's get him off the stand for me. Let's take a closer look at him. Let's put this camera up. All right, let's just bring him in. So yeah, this one comes with his mask. Pretty neat. Pretty neat how they have the uh, the eyes recessed in there. See the hair painted pretty well. Some stuff's missed, you know, the dreads, those little beads and stuff. And it's funny, like black, and then they got gold. But yeah, typical QC issues. Um, yeah, back looks pretty good. The netting. He has on the on the chest gear. So if you remember, if you haven't seen a the movie, these later on there was a scene where we went in the tunnel. He had these little um kind of like a almost like a laser a laser grid or something. You they threw them up and they self I you know, I again I haven't seen a movie in a long time. But they kind of self adhere like screws or something like that into um this cave where all the xenomorphs were, and he kind of like fired this laser grid and trapped them from both sides. So once they fell through it or pushed through or whatnot, it would just basically slice them in, in pieces through a yeah, some type of like a laser grid system, best I can describe it. But it's funny they come with all of them on a little chest piece, just like the movie. He's got his little shuriken tool, the the, the uh, case. Now, different. All right, does other. Wait a minute. I think he has yeah double wrist blades. Like, do they retract? I don't know if they retract. Like nowadays. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, they still do that. Pretty cool gauntlets. Okay. Um, but like in the movie, he was decked out. He came from a planet, you know, the, the, the predator planet. It was the first time he really showed that and took a whole variety of weapons to, uh, yeah, go fight against these, um, or hunt or fight against the xenomorphs back on earth. Now, like I said, they made a few, maybe even up to six different variants of this guy. And they all come with different accessories for the most part, some stuff that, but you can obviously, and that's another way you bought the unmasked one with the mask one and, that one had a different accessory. This one didn't, but that's what this uh, guy comes with. So he comes with the staff that's kind of, um, you know, it's it's not fully retracted, kind of like in a, you know, halfway open position. And then later on, he had one with a full staff. He also comes with this. This is another backpack piece. I don't really remember what this was in a weapon. It looks like one of the plasma canisters, but I don't think it was. I think it was a toolkit. I know there was a um, scene, too, where he punched up through the concrete to get out of a tunnel, and he might have used this. 
or something like this that he put on his wrist or just gave him a like a power punch or something might have something to do with that it doesn't really say doesn't really say in the package with the accessories or like most of the stuff you know you got to kind of guess it or rewatch the movie so it comes with that he does now this i know is the plasma canister that's going to go on his back that you know kind of um this is where the energy or the ammunition comes from for the uh, plasma blaster and he comes with a single plasma blaster where in a movie he had dual which again i'll compare another version comes with the dual ones that you can retrofit to either Predator. So that's pretty cool. So it comes with all that. So let's get him back in the picture. So let's... If you look at the back... The plasma canister. This one. See, it looks like... and uh, Okay, so it looks like we'll go like this. Sort of. And it should clip on. It kind of has its own shape, I think. Maybe I have it upside down. I think I have it upside down. Yeah, usually... The, okay, I think the top's like that. Of course, everything's in the way. And if something's been in a package so long, you know, you got to want to be careful. Unless, all right, pop right in. Same thing with this piece. Has its own shape. So it looks like it goes on like that in the back. Okay. Pretty cool. Now the plasma cannon. Now he has dual, like I said, a movie had dual on each shoulder. They were shoulder cannons, but I'll whatever. I'll put one on the uh, the left side. Pop that in like so careful with the peg and they're pretty soft rubber pegs too and they can articulate somewhat okay and then we'll put now the hands are pretty soft in the sky okay and then we'll put the uh we'll put the staff and when set them up like that all right how's that look pretty cool get him back on the figure stand for a minute so he's on forms i'm trying to show him rotate him big help these things and then we'll go over the articulation all right, let's give him a look. See, yeah, really cool. I the pose. Now, as I was saying, he kind of has now. To, uh, so let's go over. All right, well, let me flip him around before I get ahead of myself. That's kind of like everything set up with the weapons. This guy also has some. Let's see the uh, bloody skulls too, and in the neck. Um, now let's let's go over in the camera a little bit. Let's go over some of the articulation. So yeah, it. Head, you know, and it's funny because all of them in a box are always like this. And, you know, I remember looking at packages like, is that how it, you know, because I was a big McFarlane collector in the day and his, his figures too would only go like that. And it couldn't, didn't have a ball joint, you know, like later on when all this articulation come around. But he does have, yeah, like ball, full rotation, articulation. So that works. He does have shoulder, a ball socket and shoulder. Okay, you can go like that. Now he does have a bicep, swings up and down, but he has no elbow. Hands, all right, has the, all the hand articulation, both hands. Same thing, no elbow on this side. It's a split in the bicep. It could just go up and down and also has shoulder. Um, this guy does, oh, that piece, we'll get that off the back. The, I don't even think he has waist. No, nope, I don't see any waist. Okay, does have knee, which are real tight. And I don't want to break these, so, you know, you got to, neck of stuff, you got to heat up. A lot of stuff, but you got to be careful. Does have feet. Okay, and same thing. They do a cut in the thigh, and you got that type of articulation. And I, you know, again, it's not comparable to the articulation today, where you can really pose the figures what you want. It seems almost like, and again, the torso, he's kind of shifted to one side, seeing so you can't fix that. There's no like uh, torso cut, a rab crunch, a rab cut, nothing like that. Like a lot of modern figures have today. I don't even think he has. Yeah, okay. It looks like in the hips he might it looks like it they're in there, but I don't it doesn't seem to be moving. Yeah, they do have cuts, but I don't know if they're glued. Oh there it goes. Okay, they do move. Yep, yeah, a little stiff. Okay, so he does have in the hip. See that. But for the most part, it's kind of sculpted in a pre posed position to be reminiscent of the poster or some of the scenes in the movie. The iconic scenes, like just how, you know, he comes out of nowhere and he's shifted in the the Predator kind of does like just that funny stance and look, you know, how they uh, kind of observe things and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's um, so that's the full mass version of the uh, NECA Requiem Predator. Really cool detail, limited articulation. So let's get, um, let me get the unmasked version and we'll compare them. All right, so here we have the unmasked version. Now you can see he comes with that cool whip. And obviously, if you have both, you can um, 
you know, interchange to whatever Prater. Same thing with the staff. Yeah, look at that. So let's bring him a little bit. Check out that face go. Look at that. That is awesome. Really unreal. It's just so cool the way that's done. He too has the bloody skulls. Has also those um the laser grid weapon or mines or late whatever. I don't even know what you would call them. Um he has an open hand where he has a close. And again, you can switch hands out. You want to pop them out. They do come out. Uh, some different gauntlets set up a little bit, seems to me. Mm. No, I guess sim. Okay. Now similar. Maybe the armored. All right, this one has... Now he has... He's a bloody variant when he was injured. So where the, the mass version was. And now he has the plasma canister and has the dual cannons. But has a plate. It's missing that secondary weapon. Or it's medical, it's the kid or something like that. All right, and yeah, just the um, arm. It seems to me is the feet. Everything else seems the same aside those. He seems lighter too. Sorry for your focus. So that's those kind of two side by side. I'll come from the back. Yeah, really cool, really neat. Now I do have one more in a package, so let me compare that as well. All right, in package here, I have, now this was, you can see, it was a San, uh, San Diego Con 2008 Comic-Con exclusive. That one's really cool. Uh, yeah, kind of in semi, like, stealth mode. Comes also um, plasma canister. Uh, you know, everything just in the um, the stealth, you know, when he goes into camouflage mode. Now, this one was one of the first times NECA came with the face hugger and a chest burster. And I don't know what else he... I don't see much else he comes with. Yeah, I guess the plasma canister, it's hidden up by the sticker. But that's another version. And they also made... I know they also made another, I think, a full stealth. I might have it somewhere. I bought most of them. They made and then another masked, I think, a, a unmasked version that had the manibles, where the one I showed was open. It had totally closed. And they made another masked version with the, with the face mask that was bloody. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. So let's get these two guys back in picture and we'll finish up. All right. So, yeah, that's it. That's it on the uh, pretty much, you know, the review and the unpackaging and a little blast from the past, you know. Uh, I think it's fun. It's so cool how these guys still hold up. Did a great job. Luminar articulation, but I like it. it. It was good for the time and it serves what it has to do to be reminiscent of that film. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody's doing great. Until next time, take care.